Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know you're kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to... anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? Please. Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, master. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Something about me not following her archaic rules for proper conduct in a marriage. I swear I never saw this coming. Hey, I'm the victim here. I'm not sure how divorce works where you're from, but this is a little extreme, don't you think? You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. Look, friend, some may talk about honor in the hut, but they still sell their trophies. The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. But to try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, Master. What's with all the droids lately? My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the Master, of course. Uh... I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? What? Why? Well, what did I do to you? So you just want me to die? That is just so typical of the people I meet! And Mary, thanks a lot! Well, fine, I'll 
stay pretty much right here, I guess. You can just get lost. I'll... I'll... <laughs> You're kidding, right? Right? Come on! Nobody looks out for their neighbor anymore. Well, if this is it, I'd rather get it over with and maybe take you out with me. So let's see how these rigged-out droids like me jumping around. Hopefully the explosion kills you, too. I'm here. What? Yes?
Yes?
Who are you? Ah, doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did it do that? Thank <laughs> you. 
what? I'm yes? here. position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect their sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the jaws disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me? I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually... I'll just get back to Anchorhead. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, great dragons, and crazy hunters. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I guess I'm lucky to be alive. No more of this for me, that's for sure. Thanks for your help. There's no more of those animals out there. I'm here. Yes? What can I do? What?
You cannot win. You cannot win. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes? Yes? Thank you. 